Hey everyone, my dog's gonna be hanging out with us, but I have another stretch recommendation for you. Um, the one that we're going to do today is more of a floor exercise. It's cat cow. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. When you get started, you're going to be on all fours. So knees under your hips here. Your arms shouldn't be locked out. That puts a lot of stress on your elbows. They should be slightly bent here. And you're going to go ahead and bring your head so that you're looking straight forward. Otherwise, you're putting torque in your spine. So you want to be straight to start with. When you start, you're going to be doing cat. So you're going to bring your toes down and arch your back up like this. Arching your back up like this provides lengthening and stretching to that thoracic spine, that mid back that we talked about with the ragdoll exercise. And then when you come back through, you're gonna be doing cow. Cow provides extra stretch to that low back lumbar spine. It increases that curve, it helps your body to bear its weight most efficiently and really stretches out each of the vertebrae there. So you just do it with your breath. Breathe in, cat. Breathe out, cow. Breathe in, cat. Breathe out, cow. Last one, you can do as many as you want and need to feel comfortable in your space. Breathe in, cat. Breathe out, cow. Now, again, the reason why we do that is to loosen up the spine. It really affects and helps those natural curves that we have, um, and it allows for better motion throughout the entirety of the spine. This is one that you'll want to do before work or after work. If you do it at work, people might look at you a little funny, um, but it is a great exercise for people who develop low and mid back pain and discomfort. Helps to loosen it and provide motion to the joints in the spine. Motion is life. And so we are just helping you to provide better motion to your body.